All right, how's everybody doing? I apologize for the mix-up on the times uh, because I had originally scheduled it for eight and it was the wrong time. And I swear I had changed the actual event time to uh, 10 o'clock, but I ended up doing uh, 9.45 instead. Um, so yeah, for YouTube changing things. Um, said my changes were saved, so I assumed we were fine. Um, today we have Matt with me. Hi! Matt, Matt brought me a little, a little something that I bought from him. I'm very excited to play with this. It is, Chris. How's it going, man? Um, yeah, so I've got, I've got a little, little pie. This is stuff that doesn't suck. Um, got a pie zero W to put in here. I'll have to, I have a million SD cards. Um, so yeah, uh, this is something I wanted to do. So we're going to set a budget of $250 tonight. So we're we're going to spend up to two hundred and fifty dollars on on crap from China, and then when everything comes in, or let's just be optimistic and say when seventy five percent of the stuff comes in, um, then we're gonna do a video, another video stream where we open everything. So eventually, I'll have a pile of boxes wrapped in yellow tape, um, and then we're gonna open them and see how bad they are. And uh, Matt actually. Uh, brought up a, a part that we're going to show. Um, so most of this stream is going to be showing my monitor. We're going to be going through. So I'm going to be looking for you guys to like type in search terms um, that we should look up. And I'm going to type in like stuff that we all know, like different types of hot ends. And then we're going to sort by the lowest price and uh, just hope for the absolute worst. So I can, this, this is more entertaining, but it's also going to show you what the difference is between uh, you know, the same item at different price points because there are different quality of things you can get from these vendors. So I'm just uh, rearranging my screens here. I did not approve this purchase. <laughs> um, I did not I did not actually get this idea from Lions. It's something I've been wanting to do. Did he do a video like that where he just oh, bought yeah. crap? I've seen like Austin. You know what? He did like the graphics card. He bought. He went on oh, yeah, Express and did that, that one. That sketchy yeah. ass graphics yeah. card. Yeah. Um. So yeah. That so that's what that's stuff. what we're gonna do. Um. There was something. Oh yeah, I wanted to clear off a printer really quick. Ready, ready, guys. This is on our. Just making it easy. I know. Bam. Part removal that easy. This is actually a. Uh, um, a LCD cover for our K40 laser with our C3D laser board in it. Yeah. That's super thin there. Yeah, it is. This is this like locks in and then this locks up in here. Wow. Like that. Oh, I see. So this is for the LCD for my uh, my my laser cutter. Um, oh, it looks like one of my mods got that. So, um. Put that right back on there. Teaching Tech did a video of this too. Did they? Really? I don't know how I I don't know how I missed it then, because I would have enjoyed that a lot. Um, let me see here. I'm just gonna fire up. I was actually I actually have a G code file queued up on this machine behind me. Uh, Cat dot G code. Um, except I sliced it, but I realized I do not have the Creality Cat, and I found the STL file. Um, uh oh. Hey Google, turn off the washer reminder. <laughs> all right. Man, can you hear how quiet that printer is? What printer? <laughs> Shameless plug. Get your easy board today. If we actually had them in stock, but we don't. So I hear more of the fan than I do anything. Yeah, else. the fan is actually the loudest thing. So. Uh, the background noise should be a lot better here. We got rid of our window AC, uh, which I posted about, and then someone judged me about my mounting. Uh, but it's complete with googly eyes. It's not centered above the door because of where the piping and the studs are, and I didn't feel like messing with it, so deal with it. It's off center. Uh, but no more window unit uh, blocking my view and making tons of noise. So this is our third Mr. Cool unit, and this is a uh, their 18,000 BTU one. We actually have their... Two of their 24,000 BTUs. Mr. Cool, if you're watching this, sponsor me. <laughs> I can use one for the garage side, too. I'm just going to have mini splits everywhere. There you go. Uh, all right. So let's get, uh, let's get into this. Let's see here. Hi, Mom. 
Oh god, you must have oh. nothing better to do. All right, so, um, so uh, Matt, I'm gonna kick this off really easily here. Um, so look at oh cool, we got a new user coupon. So let's see if orders over three dollars. Let's see if I can get this here. Now I will say one thing: this does look a little updated from the version that I have because this more looks like a Bond textile. Uh, whereas mine looks like an exact replica of a Titan. Except it's not. Except it's far from a Titan. I, okay, so you I... You should never, ever use it. Apparently, I couldn't get this. I guess new AliExpress users. All right, we'll add to cart. And uh, let me see, view shopping cart here. Uh, oh, apparently, I forgot. I was buying CT clamps Whoops. for my home automation stuff. Let me go ahead and remove this. Um... And I'm going to change. Let's see what the shipping we've got e packet or the AliExpress. I'm going to do the e packet. E packet's what we want because it's tracked. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to kick off. We're at $6.99 total. Um, so come on. What, let's, uh, let's just, I'm looking for the chat. What kind of stuff should we search? I, I, so I like to do this uh, from time to time. I'll just search 3D printer on aliexpress and then i'm going to search by newest just to see what comes up because you get all sorts of weird stuff as you can see here um and then i just scroll through and see what's what's coming out here um and like what kind of stuff we're gonna we're gonna get those are great 3d printers. or tour okay like i said we're, we are taking a limit of 250 dollars total so that's what we have to blow tonight so we can either get like a really crappy printer um or we can get a bunch of crappy parts uh oh, i don't know really this shipping cool. fee i'm assuming that's a shipping fee for their printer because they don't know how to calculate shipping <laughs> um abl knockoffs i already had the creality one i mean we could buy oh that's like, a good idea hang on like bl, BL touch, touch. Be easy. Yeah, let's see and then i'm going to sort by the lowest that. price here what is the lowest price <laughs> Let's see, BL Touch. What is the sh crappiest BL Touch? There you go. Re oh, that's replacement. Part. Yeah, it's just the part. Let's see here. As usual, you always have to replace the part on it. The probe. Should I buy a copy of our adaptor board? Uh-huh. Let's see here. BL Touch. Come on. I'm, I'm assuming probably in the $10 range. Oh man, look at China just cranking out the easy out clones. Wow. This is this is why I didn't want open source design. That one guy open sourced it. And now China's like, oh hello, we gonna copy all this. <laughs> and then they crank them out for stupid cheap. Um wait, oh, what's this? Oh, that's just oh. a that's just a sensor. Um I want like I want like something that's Oh, there you go. Proximity Pro. No, these are these are old. These have been around for a while. These I know suck. I have a few of them. Well, you know something. Um, like I want Although something with a board. A anyways, so like that's a bracket that. in that. There's a prox sensor. I want like a BL Touch clone. I want to see how bad these BL Touch clones are. Uh, Hero 101. Get a Bontek clone. Oh yeah, I've heard plenty about that. Well, uh, the big. Uh, two trees that we were just on they have a bond tech clone here i'm gonna set and the minimum price at ten dollars maybe that'll filter out and then go to highest you go no no huh? come on we want we want to we want to oh, get the most price. out of money okay. we've okay here we go we got a g tech 3d touch for ten dollars um that's literally a probe with a three pin soldered to it yep um is that even gonna work I don't it's, think so. It's for an ANA A8. I don't have an ANA A8, but here's the thing. That's going to be run off 5 volts. Uh, it doesn't really say. Let's see here. Maybe? I'm looking to see on the label. Okay, here's oh. the problem. See, 6 to 36 volts. <laughs> um, this is, this is, if you plug this in your end stop, it's going to run off 5. This is the stuff that um, a guy on eBay was doing. He was selling probes like this with this wired in, but the problem is, if you run these on five volts, they're not going to work correctly. So I already know that's going to suck. Um, what I don't know how much it's going to suck is is the BL Touch clone. So are you guys are you guys happy if we get one of these? Like this is the cheapest BL Touch clone. Oh man, it doesn't even have. It says made in Korea. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt this is made in Korea. Um, this is the G. This is the G Tech official store too. Whoa. 
Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, I want to go a little. You know what? We've had some fun with Feist Tech. Let's. I I know oh the G Tech. The G Tech might actually work. Um. So let's let's get this like let's get this Feist Tech one here. So let's let's add this to cart. And it's murdered out too. A V six hot ends. Those will be fun. The amount of oh, crap that could possibly that. happen. That's the Saint E packet nine three. Okay, it's a day difference. All right, so V six hot end. Let's see what comes up. Oh man, two dollars. What? What is that? I have no idea. Is that a nozzle and a mm. nozzle? Yo, bro. Or yo, dog. I heard you like nozzles. <laughs> Inside of a nozzle. What is this? That's the new black edition. The bl yeah. what? Oh yeah. So you can get all the powder coating in your lungs when it heats yep. up? Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay, let's see. We got some... Oh, this is three... three Ruby... These are $54. I'm not going to waste... Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was $5.54. <laughs> there's, there's clones? I wonder if there's mosquito clones get out yet. Yeah. J-head? Uh, the big... The three-way? <laughs> Yeah, feel free to bother me after that. Get that weird nozzle. Okay, what, do you guys want me to get the weird nozzle? Air, airbrush, airbrush nozzle. nozzle. Yeah, it shows it on a 3D printer. No, it's like this style. Like, what do oh, we want? Okay. Do we want what size? Okay, we can get the airbrush nozzle. What do we want? 2.2, 0.3. What are we doing here? It just doesn't look good anytime. You... <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, but we're going we're gonna to try it. Oh, what do we want? Do, what size do we want, chat? Come on. I need to see in chat what what size do I want on this ridiculous looking like it looks like a nozzle had sex with a syringe. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was very high when they thought of this. Like point three? I was thinking point three. Okay. That is got to be. They don't have a point nozzle. for it. They have point two, point three, and point five. We could go point two and and get some really fancy uh, D and D. Okay, so it looks like the majority is point three. Okay, point three. All right, let's see here. Not, I think nozzles. Oh wait, 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 wait. They're they're already they're already suggesting stuff. Ooh, hang on. What what is this? Is this just black tubing? Teflonto bone extruding. Oh, oh it's like labs, yeah, it's like one point nine millimeter. Oh, they have different colors. Oh, wow. Let me see. Eh, PTFE tube is gonna be anticlimactic. Um. All right, this abortion or abomination, I should say, <laughs> of a hot end here. What is this? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's three, and it goes up to three. Apparently, degrees, it, they claim it. Okay, people are posting stuff here. Hang on, this guy. There's uh, WFR Riders is uh, pasting stuff. I really want to get a really bad uh, V6 clone. V6. Like, like what is this? This is three dollars. Long, long and short. I don't oh, even know. Uh, so oh, yeah, yeah, Bowden, short, okay. Bowden or or yeah, yeah. not Bowden. I got it. Now, is this all metal? It says without PTE, all, PTFE, all, all metal. Throats are on six on seven. A whopping 98 cents just for the heat break. All right. And we can, we're going to go back and decide what we actually want to get and what we don't want to get. Now, here's two different... Is this the same thing? Well, this one says 320, but the description says 300. That this one says 320 and 320, though. This is JKHJ. <sighs> this one doesn't... What is the difference? Okay, this comes with a fan and some cleaning stuff. All right. Um, Teflonto. All right. I'm going to put this... This will be a maybe. We'll, we'll revisit this. I'm going to get so many packages showing up so here when we're done with this. I think direct drive would probably be a good one to look for too. All right, we're, we are. Technically... Let me see. We're. Let me see where we're at right now. We're only at thirty-five dollars. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for a long time. Static filament cleaners. What the? 
Oh, hang on, what's anti-static filament cleaner? Oh, okay. So oh, a little filament? Yeah. I mean, these might actually be useful. Yeah. Okay, and here's the thing. These are just little ferrite quarter, like, enclosures that they're putting a sponge in, which is kind yep. of ingenious. Yeah, that's all it is. Um, I mean, oh, the it just set the temperature yeah. down. Um, let's just sort these by my price here. Um, all right, I'll get I'll get one of these. Let's see if they work. Uh, this this okay. We're supposed to be finding useless stuff. This might actually be useful, and for a dollar, like I mean, yeah, I can print them, but does it come with the foam? Like yeah, so, it's ABS. Uh, Non-retail package. This has filament block. I don't see. I mean, I think it does. But seriously, for ninety cents, this might actually be something I I would throw in the store. You know what I mean? Because I'm willing to bet if I bought them in bulk, like filament cleaners are awesome and oilers. Yes. We actually use oilers. So here, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add five of these to the cart. And anybody who thinks they don't work, you need to use them. They do work. They we work. we use them, especially on the all metals. You put a couple drops of canola oil in there. And it just makes everything run so much better, Absolutely. especially with PLA. All right. Um, let me go back through here. What is this? Yeah, this is the Cyclops, kind of... Cyclops, the triple Cyclops. What? Yeah. Water-cooled? That, that is awesome. I don't want to deal with water-cooled. This might eat up some of our, our budget, though. This goes up to $49. Oh, yeah. That so, was... okay, this is weird. On AliExpress, they like doing this, where they have set all these sets, and then you have to go down in the description... And see what each what set that. comes with. Like, this is just the heat, just sink. the heat sink. Like, That's just insane. that. I mean. <sighs> that is insane. Yeah. That's a little bit of money. I'm going to put that on the may. I'm going to put that on the maybe. We'll just leave that tab open. Uh, let's see. Uh, WF Rider said one of the flex sheets. Okay, hang on. Let me try to narrow this down. Uh, let's let's just search this. Spring let's see. Power. Let's see what the cheapest flex plate is. Magnetic. Feist Tech, high quality. I, I would beg to differ. I want like. Although, okay, let's be honest, though. It's kind of hard to screw up spring steel. It's a steel plate. That's true. Like, do you know what I mean? All right, DIY filament box recharger, rechargeable dryer. That sounds interesting. That would be interesting for sure. Okay. Because that would be something to actually see if it works or not. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is the kind of weird stuff I want. Let's see. And for the price, that's... Yeah, this good. is the kind of stuff I want. Weird stuff like this. Cause there's a funny thing. If some of this stuff works, like I'm not opposed to getting it. Let's see. Um, oh, oh, weird. Oh, oh okay. So it's just, oh, this is right. just for a box. It's just desiccant. It's just got a fan. Um, and this is desiccant. This isn't anything like, so basically it probably pulls in it just, air one. It just and has a sets fan it out through the desiccant. Like it just has a fan. Yeah. That's all. Kalant S four hundred. Uh that's a printer. That sounds that's like a gonna, printer. That's going to be expensive. Is that going to be, be over yeah. budget? Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> oh, but here's the thing: I've heard Kalant makes good resin yeah, printers, they, so that's not going to be fun. They just started putting that out, the S four hundred. So that's a brand new printer. Uh three into one nozzle. Is that? It? Oh, the diamond. Oh God, you guys want to kill me? That's like a lot of work to test that. Oh yeah, the triple. Uh, the yeah, these the triple these are that. these are such a pain. Um, this would require so much time, and I don't know if I have a board that would even drive three, um, three, three extruders. Nice. Yeah, I could expand off of like an MKS. You can always make a, uh, a Frankenstein Ender three. Uh, right? Tyler's posted a Bitly link. I don't I don't know. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 i already have one it's sitting in the drawer like do they actually reply back to me let's see Ah, uh, where is it here yeah this is what i showed on here i'm just gonna do a chargeback not buy your products i want to 
Ugh, they still don't get it. I just want them to give me a label to send their crappy board back. Um, I already have one of those. There's a video on the channel. Ha ha ha, Tyler, you're so funny. All right. Um, Cheetah add on 24 volt to 12 volt module. If I want to blow the board out, yeah. Yeah, I could. Oh, oh my that's god. An awesome one. <laughs> Triple nozzle, let's see. Oh man. What is this? It's just three V sixes. Wow. Basically. Strapped together. Holy crap. That is a huge <laughs> printer. I don't even have a machine to put that on. Oh, someone mentioned a 3D scanner. Those are going to be expensive. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to sort this by lowest price here. We're going for bottom of the barrel today, okay? okay. I'm going to set a minimum of $20. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. These are barcode scanners. <laughs> Two D desktop scanner. Um, hang on, let me see. Three D printer camera. Let's see what You're it comes come up with. Up with the Creality one. <laughs> the Creality one. <laughs> the baby monitor. <laughs> what is this? This is over budget, but I've never heard of Mingda. What? Is... What? It looks quite interesting. It looks like uh, Tronxy would come out with something like that. Never heard of them. What what is that end stop? Is it what? a giant button? <laughs> I think it, is. it looks like a push button. Or is it a sensor? I don't know. Is it like a pinda? I can't I can't tell. Every bright point is a sincere work. HD Auto. color colorful touch screen. Wi-Fi function. Wow, bi-directional feeding gear. It goes both ways, guys. Um, oh, this is why I came up. It has a camera. Oh, yeah, it's okay. a little push button. Okay, so yeah, it is. That is that is interesting. Um, all right, someone sent me a URL. That didn't come up. Oh, that what I meant to do. <clears throat> oh boy, silicone. Silicone. You guys want me to get some rubbers for the print bed? I mean, <laughs> screw it, whatever. There's 409, there's four of them for $3. Why not? Let's see what other stuff they're recommending here. <laughs> uh, dampeners, that's uneventful. Let's see here. Oh God, what is going on? Hey, hey bed leveler. What else do we got here? Solid steel bed mounts. Yeah, solid bed mounts. Rails. Hot ends. Oh, wait. Here's a sketchy looking ABL probe. Oh, 3D too. touch bed leveling sensor probe. <laughs> I, <laughs> I awesome. swear. Bed leveling, VL touch leveling sensor probe. Or 3D touch, sorry. And you can get it in three different ways. To be the chief evangelist. <laughs> I thought we were trying to find useful products. <laughs> useful products. Lurge optical end stop 3D. Let's see what that is. Oh, so that's an optic end stop. That, I mean, that would be kind of interesting. I mean, I, I'll buy these. They're, they could be fun to play with. Is this just uh, one of them? Doesn't the TiVo have that type of setup? No, they have like uh, inductive probes. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Lurge X cable. Oh God! Oh my eye! <laughs> what is this? Oh, white light. So just a. I mean, eh, it's just an LED. That'll probably work. Hey, hey. <laughs> I can't what? Even say it. So the board says RGB. What do I put in it? <laughs> what is RGB for, Matt? 
<laughs> Why are you laughing? What's RGB? Nothing. Nothing. I have no idea what RGB stands for. What's RGB? I, I need to ask you what RGB is on the board. <laughs> I don't know what RGB is. Nope. Not at all. I'm at a loss. Okay, hang on. I want to, you guys said Bontech. Let's see what, what terrible Bontech clones we come up with here. Could also Man, there's so a, much crap. Like, what is this? X motor front panel plate for what machine? Looks Just like a, a plate? CR10 Pro, maybe. maybe. All right, let's set the minimum for like $10. Um, China doesn't have any bond tax for ten dollars. That's very disappointing. Oh, that's that looks terrible. Let's see what that is. I'm sure you could find worse. I'm pretty. Oh, here we go. Bond extruder parts. Clone B tech. I wonder what B tech means. Oh, it totally is a bond drag extruder. <laughs> This is $13. All right. Well, let's just put this in the cart. All right. Let's see here. That's awesome. This is two trees as well. Man, what That's is... That's the one I got. Look at, look at the, the hop gear. Or the, the, the drive gear. That's plastic. Is it? That is plastic. That is a plastic drive gear. It's not metal. Oh, my God. That's the one that I got. That's such a terrible idea. The TiVos do that. So this yeah, is a TiVo. That, that's plastic, too. This this whole uh, uh, uh the bottom coupler. What did feature? Oh, the film pressure probes. Um, I know what you guys are talking about, and they're not really like. Um, hang on. It's literally it's they're gonna work because they're just uh oh, I know these right yeah, here. I know what they're talking about. These okay. little film yep. like. Yep. You basically put them on your thing. You put them on the nozzle while it's cold and it takes the readings and they actually should. I've never used one, but in theory, they should work. Okay. I mean, this would be pretty easy to put on a printer. Yeah, I could just eh, screw it. Whatever. It's a dollar sixty seven. Screw it. Worth it. YOLO. What is this? I thought someone said this. The TFT. 24 touchscreen. Yeah. Like what is uh, for Ender 3? What does that mean? And it goes with the big tree tech. Oh, God, we're not moving enough. Oh, motion sensor. Pick me up. It's all right. We only live big. Someone mentioned this. I mean, this is $15. What's promotion? TFT, like, what's the difference between kits and for Ender 3? I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. This did intrigue me. I think I will order this because either this is going to be really bad <coughs> or it's going to work really well because it supposedly emulates the 12864 display. Oh, you bought one? <laughs> okay, TFT24 kits option and promotion. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, so these are basically the same thing. They're just different. Okay, let's get it. We're going to get that. Um, Tyler sent a link here. Uh, filament welder. Oh, that'd be interesting. A lot of people ask about that. I see things all the time about them. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, I went off the video. Sorry. I'm going to mute that just in case it's copyrighted. <laughs> Let me see here what this is. Well, the camera went. Great. Oh, there we go. Okay. Take it in the horse. Take the other one in the horse. Okay. So basically, the ideal situation of... Oh, we got a lighter! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What are you heating up? Just the inside there? What is this doing? Are you just pushing it through then? Yep. 
I wonder if that's a slimmer too. No, it's not. Look at look at the diameter <laughs> shift. Oh man. <laughs> And then you, you got to slide it in and out over and over again. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, we're, we're getting this. We're getting one of these. This is amazing. Wait, wait, what was this? Is that a what is pen? this? Oh, deburring? Oh, oh deburring. let's get a crappy 3D pen. Let's get a 3D pen. Let's get the cheapest 3D pen we can find. <laughs> I'm going to set the minimum to like $5, okay? <clears throat> oh wait i think you already passed one did i pass it, one it was pink uh no no it's not. that's it's a school like supply it. 3d filament pen there you go dick ale you want some dick ale <laughs> <laughs> that's a, i love these names smuff smuff oh, there you go three to sixteen dollars three to sixteen dollars all right well that's probably just a filament <laughs> buy old fire alarms that contain nuclear material. Buy thousand. Let's build a reactor. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Let's build a nuclear hot end. There you go. And now we're on a list. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, you've been red flagged. What? <laughs> hey, anybody need some ABS fil filament? Fil filament? You want some filament? Yeah, see that the three dollars is oh, the. Oh, I see. It must be some Jewish guy writing this. Oh, filgament. it's ABS filgament. Filgament. You oh, want some Jesus. filgament? Oh God. <laughs> oh man, this is so bad. All right, all right. Let's see what uh what what pen are we gonna get? Let's get a really crappy pen. Like. <clears throat> all right, so you gotta set your max again then. Do you want the Do you want the dick the ale? Dick ale. Hang on. Let's set the. Well, okay, see, they go. do this. They do this crap where it's like. It's three dollars, but it's for film, and it's on the same well, here, list. Okay, go go to three D pens. Yeah, but it's still gonna show it. Is it okay? It's still gonna show the same stuff. See? Ah, uh, yeah. Dang it. What is Dick Ales? See, their nine dollar option is this. Yeah, of course. That's twenty. I think that's what you're gonna see. Is this is a max of sixteen. Um, that's a max of forty six. Eleven dollars. That one actually looks nice. Uh it's twenty five. Sun oh, Sunloo. Yeah, Sunloo Sun will yeah. have decent stuff. Um uh, yeah, I think nice. sixteen bucks is the lowest one I've found so far. Fifteen. <clears throat> oh, fourteen. Oh, let's get a pink one. Okay. So that one's out. There's a really crappy looking one. I think fourteen bucks is probably gonna be the cheapest we're gonna find. Most likely. I'm I'm just saying. Um, let's see here. All right. Well, oh, there's oh, one no. 1369. Hang on. I accidentally closed out my chat here. Wait, 1369? Okay. All right. And it comes with a stand. Does yeah. it? Okay. What color do we want? Pink, purple, yellow. <laughs> That's not yellow. Or That's blue. Definitely not yellow. I think it's about as cheap as Oh wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Box. Oh, we're getting even we're getting even crappier. Sunday. The Sunday. What? I'm uh that's the... it did they make sex toys before they made 3D pens? No. Printing temperature 95C? That's not that's even gonna work. That's got to be a typo. No. no way. Oh, huh. it uses PCL low filament. Oh, okay. PLA, like ABS, PEG are prohibited. That's why it's so cheap. Because I've never heard of. It. I've never heard of PCL. I have. I have no idea what it is. There you go. Find some PCL <laughs> filament. Buy some cheap filament. Oh God, should we buy filament? <laughs> Bring it all. Buy these... some like cheap pet G or something like that and see if it. What are What are we at right now? We're at a total of a hundred. Oh, yeah, oh God! Still got 150 to go. <laughs> all um. Night, yeah. All right. Um. PLA filament. <laughs> Let's see what the cheapest filament is. Of course, the small one. Yeah, the small. I'm gonna set a mat a min of five dollars. 
No, nope, that's too that's too little. Ten. Okay. Way on, but sh here's the thing: shipping though is gonna kill you. Ah, that sucks. Oh, glow in the dark. Free, hang on, let's do free shipping. Up, oh, and we're back to the samples. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find it. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're 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 good so far. Let's see. Is this the thirty-two? This is the thirty-five. But I don't think this is the um the one that emulates the one twenty-eight sixty-four. Let's see what 3D printer board comes up. Are there any any boards I haven't heard of that seem sketchy? Lurge X 3D printer. <laughs> oh, this is board. an is this an Anet knockoff that looks like improvement? Uh, oh, is this their new board? I wonder if that's what's in the Anet printer. Yeah, it is because somebody was talking about the. Uh, okay, I mean it's still got a 1284, but that actually doesn't look bad. Yeah, that's the new design. Interesting. Because they were talking about the infused fuse. In yeah. It, and they were like, "What the hell?" All right. Well, I mean. That's uneventful. <laughs> if they actually made it, made it better. Uh, let's see here. G Tech extension board. That's just their hot end extension board. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Flash forge parts. That's not anything interesting. Let's see here. There's a lot of ANAP boards. Yeah, these are the old ANAP boards. Yep. I still have one. Big fire hazard. TFT twenty eight. Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't have the uh, the one twenty eight sixty four, which is what I'd actually be interested in. MKS DLP. Oh, that's for a resin printer. Uh, let's see here. Funsor Metal Bulldog. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's search that. Full Metal Bulldog. Oh, it's a J-head V6. So let's burn the shop problem. down. <laughs> <laughs> Funsor Metal Bulldog. That's actually not very cheap. Oh, those are the the uh, pushing. Uh, is it? I feel uh, like I've extruders. seen these before. Yeah, somebody's three D printed one and then China went and copied it and made metal things. Yeah, this is the one where you you like tighten it in, and then it butts up against it instead of having an extruder arm. I mean, that might actually not suck. That's like twenty dollars. Let's put that on the maybe list. What is this? Someone said this. Uh... The TFT thirty five. V three Okay, EXP one, two, and three. Okay, this one's more interesting to me. And okay, and this does the okay. For the scar. Okay. Let me uh let me check out the uh let me remove this one because I don't need two of the same thing. They're pretty much the same damn thing. Like I want more stuff like this filament welder. Let me see. Let me search filament welder. What are you, are you Chinese today? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh, the first one comes up. Yeah. That's awesome. Big Tree Tech has one. All right, of course they do. Why not? Let's copy everything. Oh, there's your fancy little nozzle set, too. Wait, is that a set where it's got all of them? No. Oh, and it's your buddy's Spice Tech. It, like, screws in. It's so weird. So I, weird. I cannot wait to see that thing in action. That's going to be hysterical. <laughs> what if it actually works? I, w I would just be laughing. Like I mean, this, just, looks, this looks like the same thing, just a little bit cheaper. It is. It's just cheaper metal, it looks like. I mean, let's see. 1450 versus... Well, 1273 versus 1450. Yeah, All right. We're, we're dumping Sun, sun Hokey. We're going with brand name on this one. Get some really big capacitors you can blow up. There you go. I mean. There's some pretty big capacitors out there. 
Large comp <laughs> Let's see. Let's get some really crappy caps to blow up then. You guys want to see us blow up some big caps from China? No. I mean, these are like 2.7 volts. I could blow those really easy with some of the bench supplies we have here. <laughs> You could get some fancy gold ones. There's a fly on my screen. Where's my fly swatter? Come on. Going in the swatter. <laughs> there we go. There we go. This is my uh my five dollar Harbor Freight. Uh, Hi, pups. Five dollar Harbor Freight you do ice you water here. Hi. It actually works. It just electrocutes the crap out of them. It's dead. He did. Uh, there was a two. I've Having blown 400 volt 380 UF caps before hard pass. Wow. I mean, do they have like a bulk pack? I mean, we could just take a bunch of caps. I mean, that's eh. All right, let's see. Silicone heating pads. Oh man, these make me nervous because then I'm messing with mains. I'm either messing with mains or I'm blowing up a power supply. <laughs> so basically, you want to put it on a printer that you probably won't be about. <clears throat> or rebuilding. I mean, okay. This probably won't burn the thing down. I'm just saying. They do have the resistance and the working temperatures here. These probably are going to be fine. Jesse, you're obsessed with nuclear material. <laughs> Jesse, you're on a list now. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> that another one at time. What is this? Time? What? What is this? That's the one I said. Oh, that's interesting. What? It's a mini V6. <laughs> but oh, sorry, it's an M6, <sighs> not a V6. What would you even mount this to? A is Wayne, that going to over how? Is Wayne, that going to overheat? A Wayne How I three mini. <laughs> How about a power supply? That's a great idea. What, the fuck? what is that? I don't know. It's Hang made on. by the same company, 3D Spring. We gotta come back to the 3D Spring store and just look through it. Do we? Oh, yeah. I opened another thing. All right, let's see. Um, here we go. Transformer driver adapter. Wow, for 87 cents it goes down to. What in the world? I, I don't know. Triggers me looking at it. I don't even know how that works. Uh, and there's even some more crazy stuff on the right there. Like, look at that thing. That someone says this fits the flash for. Oh, that this one. They must fit fit a flash forge finder. Oh, because of the low space on it. Yeah. 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 There's the. Oh, hey, thing. here's a bulldog. Hey, for eight dollars. Okay, let's try out the bulldog. It's absolutely worth it. What is this abomination? Oh my god! Oh, you know what? Steve's got one of these. Does he? He says it's great. Really? Yeah. I mean, it I mean, looks it, like it'll put some pressure. A, it's a lock-in system, so it should. It should work. work. It just looks ridiculous. Hi, dog. <laughs> All right, let's see. 3D printer. Oh my god, a four water cool. <laughs> Hang on, why is this not zooming in? There we go. Yeah, I've seen these. I can't remember what the E3D version is. Man, there's some weird freaking looking stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just, just V6 hot 
hot end or heat sinks on slapped onto this giant nozzle. Oh awesome. my god. Okay, as much as I'd like to do the multi extrusion heads, um I that's a lot of work just to test it just for, for lulls. Especially since it's probably not even gonna work. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We want oh that's actually kind of expensive. So I mean we can we can see what these uh oh i can get ten dollars off i spend over 225 bucks oh yeah we'll get right on it zero line and fire line not different will, will they will they catch on fire okay <laughs> Mini fire extinguisher, portable household, car use. Okay, that sounds interesting. Oh, you know what? I wonder if those are those little ball ones that you hang over print. Mini fire extinguisher. Okay. Water foam. I mean, I'll totally go and spray these outside. That's not bad for 12 bucks at a max. Let me see. We're going to get a 1,000 mil or a 500 mil? Let's see. What is this? Does what? Make sense? There's no way. Oh, cannot deliver to the United States. That one can. That can't. All right. Well, I mean, this is kind of related. I do have an A-net sitting here. <laughs> Let's see. Should I, like, start a little fire in, in like, a, a metal can or something? Someone said something else. Uh, oh, belt tensioner. Oh, boy. That one's interesting. That looks like something I printed for an, my Ana AM8. Um, I have these sitting here. They're... Uh, <laughs> it's it's rough. It looks good. I was I had high, high hopes. But I also won't buy stuff from Fistec. Um... It looks like pretty general. general. Yeah, this is like general. I, I'm a little disappointed at the lack of cringe. Castle tensioners. Springs. Yeah, there's nothing really too... Uh, nothing too crazy. Too I mean, that's that's that interesting. One. I mean, this would be like for... I mean, this is a pretty just generic part. Fire extinguisher what? ball. There you go. That's exactly it. Yeah, but I can get these from like Amazon for probably less. Um. A mini Tesla coil kit. That would be interesting. <laughs> you could just 3D print that. My brother had one. That's why I was looking it up to see if they have it. Damn. I can't remember the site. I can't remember the site he got his from. Laser version filament monitor. Let's see. That sounds interesting and, and potentially disappointing. So it's a filament a diameter monitor. So it detects to make sure that it's good. Interesting. Oh God! Buy your buddy Spice Tech. Oh, is it? Yep. Firth store. <laughs> Firth. <laughs> Guys, it's their Firth store. They had Mike Tyson doing that. Yeah, that was, it's the Mike Tyson <gasps> version. That's what you can do. You, oh, but that's gonna be expensive. I was gonna say, get a knockoff MMU too. No, it's but that's gonna be expensive. Duet? Oh, it's for a duet. I do have a duet. Um. Oh my God! Do you guys see? I don't hear anyone complaining about our print quality on our that's printed not parts. Even finished part. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's rough. That's just a duet 3D filament monitor clone.
So that's the screw in thermistor. Interesting. I think that's what the new. What's A type, B type? A type? It says A type, B type. A type with cable, okay. Okay, and B type. A type without cable. B to oh, they're different threads. So we'd probably want the A type. This is literally just a stud from a computer standoff. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. That they took a thermistor, crammed it in the end, yep. and then put some sort of epoxy in there. That's all it is. I uh, no, it's not even epoxy. It's uh like the tar stuff that they use for the PCB boards. Eh, whatever. Let's see how they work. Tyler, if you know they work well, why are you sending it? We're supposed to be finding stuff that doesn't work well. Supposed to find interesting things that possibly don't. Oh my God! Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. You got to scroll back there for a little bit. Oh, there it is again. Did you see the spring in there? This that is the bed spring. For this oh, this is what comes on the Pro. Does it? Yeah. Wow. Some guy sent this new product: hot 3D printer hotbed leveling detection. Um, can you get me? Can you post the AliExpress like number, like the the item number? Bed leveling detectors. Is this it? <laughs> That would be awesome. That's it. Um. Oh my God, that is priceless. Are, and it's by two trees. It's, it's, it's got company. eleven reviews. Wow. I, you you got to click on a review. It's just a read. I, I don't even know. Item is exactly mm. as described. Low quality. Distance between bands is much bigger than the bubble. Each piece has its level. So Why is that even level? level? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even do that? I didn't even think that was possible. How are they saying to use this? Wow. This is just amazing. Great seller and great product. Yeah, somebody paid you for that. For what, are, what are we leveling? How are we leveling the bed with this? I... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, let's just get something a little more expensive. Do you guys want to see something a little more expensive? Like, let's do it. I kind of want to wrap the stream up because then now we're going to wait a month and wait for the stuff to come in. <clears throat> I'm going to order these. Just, just why not? I, I, why not? Okay, <laughs> screw it. YOLO. Oh, hey, wait, 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 is that a nozzle wrench? Hang on. Well, it's uh, just a wrench, but. Okay. Those Let's see. Ruby, expensive those are China prices. Jesus. Oh, Feist Tech thirty dollars. I won't buy from Feist Tech. Come on now. What is this? E three D Ruby. Oh, guys, I can get a genuine E three D Ruby nozzle for thirty one dollars. How much are they? They're like ninety. Yeah. That looks real awesome. The offset was great on that. I love how it's pitched to the left. Yeah, it is. It's not even straight. <laughs> is that Photoshop? It's totally Photoshop. That's definitely Photoshop. <laughs> like, what is going on with that this? That's great. Is it Photoshop? It totally is. There's no way that it's not. It totally <laughs> is. <laughs> that is great. How am I willing to risk $30 on this, though? But they take web money. <laughs> they take web money. <laughs> Let's see. Laser engraver. That's the new one that came out. Yeah. Um, We're probably going to have to set this in. Let's do $30. These are boards. Uh, that... Oh, that's going to be higher. That's, eh. that's a nicer machine. Oh, yeah. Because you that's can see the how they, they do. Uses. They do the... They do like the... The range, and when you see the range, it's usually because there's something cheaper in there to get you to click on initially. Oh, wait, hang on. Here we go. Two win. Hey, that's not that bad if it works. 
Oh man. It <laughs> sounds awesome. so rough. Oh, you know what? It's using an old CD drive carriage. I had something like this. Ah. 57 bucks. 57? Okay, some of the real stepper motors would be nice. There you go. That's oh, 57 to 188, of course. <laughs> Russian Federation, yes. Russian Federation. 5500 milliwatt laser. I mean, I've got a big laser. It's a little, it's a little Arduino. It's so Aww. cute. I mean, I'm I'm down to get something like I, this. I really hope that that is a mini CD and not a full size CD that it comes with. That would be awesome. Uh Jesse, shoot me an email. Tim at th3dstudio.com. We'll chat offline. Um. Okay. Synchronous motor. Oh, forty dollars for stepper motor. That's such a good deal. Um. Oh, that's just a head. Should we look for an endurance laser? <laughs> an endurance laser? I think we're looking at him right now. <laughs> I've had this, this Niji. Oh, I gave that to you and you dropped it. Yep, and I and still you... have it. I haven't even used it yet. I was going to reprint the whole carriage on it. Somebody has file for it. 50 bucks, that's not bad. Do you guys want to see us screw with a... All right, let's say Kingroon. I mean, if this is just like a little, little like. So that that's probably a filament. Is it just like a little there. switch? Yeah. Uh that's uneventful. I mean, it looks similar to the ones we stock. The or ones... unless he's talking about that one, but I mean, it's. Basically no, that's I've thing. I've played with the Triangle Labs ones. Like you can see, like we use these similar sensors on our Easy Out kits. Um, these are a lot cheaper. Maybe I should contact my supplier. Be like, hey. I see these cheaper than what you're selling to me, but then again, the pro the quality is probably not the same because we were we rarely really have issues with ours. Feist Tech has them. Know. Yeah, oh, there. <laughs> I spoke too soon. The big tree yeah, Feist Tech has them. Oh, there's is expensive. Is this is this sharpied on there? <laughs> this is totally 3D printed, and they sharpied the arrow on there. Uh, what that's they think of next? that's Feist Tech quality right there. Look at that. This is this is their official. <laughs> they couldn't even the stay in the lines. Wow. Their official. Hi, Clara Beer. Clara, what do we want from China? Do we want? Do we want to get a dog toy from China? Like, please don't. I want to live. You want to live? <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh no! We're being held! Ah! Oh, I'm dying! <laughs> did she like get in the water out there? I think she did. Yeah, she spilled the whole water over to yeah. right there. Her whole bowl. <clears throat> okay, where's the King Rune one? The dollar fifty-five, man. And it's not even a 3D printed case. This is going to be uneventful. It's probably the same ones that we use. Although the cable is different, so it's probably a different manufacturer. It's all the little details. Like, China does these things. Like, you can tell, like, all the little details, like, down to, like, the JST plug and, like, the colors of the cables. Like, here you can see these are different colors from what we use on ours. Um, it's probably, they probably just copied them all. Um, I want like a 3D printed one. I want to see how bad they are. Oh man, oh, there you go. This looks rough. This is the kind of crap I want to see. That's a great first layer right there. Like, let me see. Let me sort by price here. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go with the magic box one. Now, do they tell you what pinouts are what on here? They do not. Oh man, that is that casing is rough. Ooh. Oh, look at they've got knockoff TL smoothers. Oh my! God. I don't know if I want to plug these into a board. They're 2019 edition though. You gotta yeah. get in with the in crowd. Those are really tiny diodes. You're behind the times here. Ooh. 
Ooh. See, but the sad part is somebody would buy, like, these smoothers and not realize that, like, these diodes are really undersized. The S3Gs, um, which I think that's what these have. Yeah. Sure. Um, they're going to get really hot and they're going to fail. Whereas if you look, um, some will say S3G, but, like, stuff like this, these are similar to the ones we sell. Um, they're a lot bigger diodes. They can handle a lot more current, meaning they're going to run cooler. Uh, let's see here. Do a mat. Ooh, anus. Woo woo. Okay. Resume printing. Let's see. Let's let's see. And that's a twenty nineteen. It might help if I opened my tank. I was like, why is this getting dry? <laughs> we should have put together a kit for a printer. You guys want to make me really work, don't you? <laughs> why is this not updating? Like budget printer? What the hell do you do? I don't know. I want to like find a shitty 3D printer to buy. Like, that would be like the most toy box looking printer like just whatever the cheapest actual 3d printer is i'm pretty sure that's gonna be an ad. i'm almost positive I've looked at like i'm talking like a hundred dollars shipped uh no nah, i think they come out to be like 130. oh wait since i couldn't adjust it here's the price max on the url i can just change that there there we go it's all all regular printer boards yeah it's like like 2d printers <laughs> wow oh man what did i tell you about selling your stuff on here i know right all right i'll bite our <laughs> mall store wow that is awesome oh man i mean we can check and see what material they're made out of that is some great quality that's hilarious Oh, tarantula parts. Oh, hey. It's a dual Z bracket with another extruder mount. That's actually kind of useful. Huh. All right. That's pretty neat. As long as it's machined right, you're in good standing. Hang on. What did, uh, oh. Yeah, he just, he just, oh, I already clicked that. Do. Oh, God. Oh, man. A pylon 3D printer. Oh, man. It, look at the prints <laughs> that came off of that. Did Shipping you... is $102. Oh, hell no. Do you need to go outside? Hang on. I think Doggo needs to go outside. Go outside? Come on. <laughs> $80 3D printer, RepRap, Prusa, MK8. Yeah, that's that's going to be an A net. I guarantee it. All right, let's see. Yeah. I mean, that's that's not an A net, though. Oh, that's, a, that's an A8? A that's not an A net. No? No, that's not an A net. Get their board and everything that. And it's the old board. <laughs> That's an ANET clone. Wait, ships from US. For 31 bucks. We so can actually get that 70, quick. 80, 90. So yeah, it's under 100, just around 100 bucks. All right, Jesse, take it easy, man. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, that was the one I had, uh, had open... God, those those are so bad. 
All right, do we want a crappy 3D printer or a crappy laser engraver? Crappy 3D printer or crappy laser engraver, guys? What do we want? Oh, hang on. That didn't come up. You will not see. Thirty-one. I mean, this looks like a straight A net A eight clone, or maybe it is an A net A eight. It looks like an A net A eight. It's an A net A eight. I've already. You know what? This is a G Tech knockoff. That's where that look. Uh, that LCD screen reminds me. Okay, I've already I've already played with the G Tech three D Wi Fi, and I returned it. To hey. Amazon, they're so hey. bad. It's not that good. Okay, printers. All right, I'm gonna close out all these other ones because I think we're we're good. All right, so do we want do we want this one? It's actually more to ship it from from China. This is wood. Oh boy, let's have some fun with that again. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, that's, that's why that's, yeah, that's, let that's me see 3d printer free shipping. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's see. Cause we might get this quicker ships from the U S all right. We got it. We got a decent amount of options. Oh boy. <laughs> oh God. What is that? Oh, that's the same thing. Just the <laughs> down in the kit. These are all the same like cheap wood. Um Oh god. You'd be better off spending the extra couple bucks. Should I get another A net? Yeah. Should I get another A net or the wood one? Do we want a wood or acrylic frame? These are our options. Do we want wood or acrylic? Oh, this one literally has fire in the logo. <laughs> that is priceless. This is a wood A net A eight knockoff. Oh my god! So literally. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This is rough. They didn't even take the freaking board edge off of the board. This is what's on there after a PCB is assembled or made. Break off, yeah. <clears throat> on both sides not okay wow all right all right these are these are our options we have oh man <laughs> <laughs> do you want do you want aids or do you want cancer <laughs> well, it's, these are the choices right now um oh man Quality that power, power supply right there Dear God. Um, they even printed it Angry Bird because they were so angry after building it. I don't know how they printed that. <laughs> exactly. All right. You, you know, I bought a knockoff A6, and the only way I got it printing was with an easy ABL. Well, that was a rough machine. That was a really rough machine. It is. I bought the Alunar M506. All right, all right, come on, come on, people. Wood or plastic? Wood or plastic? We're talking a 75 cent difference. Wood, wood, or plastic? Wood or plastic? What are we getting here? A net or G tech? Oh, wait, let, okay. Go click on, yeah, that, that area. I want to see. So the A net actually has better bracing on the, uh, the rods. I mean, uh, I feel like this is an A and A. Would that be an uneventful review? That's basically what it is. I don't think it's any different. It looks identical to it. The other one's a G Tech. The same same style. Because G Tech has that pop up. Tyler says thing. wood. He wants some wood. Well, wood. Okay, wood. Add to cart. 
probably get a cheaper printer from from G Tech. All right. What are we what are we at? Oh, oh we're over. We're just over. We're over. All right, what are we nixing here? Um I, I don't eh, whatever. The 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 I'm just no, gonna get rid of stuff we don't poor. the studs I've used before. Uh the extrude this is definitely not going. This is actually interesting. Um these are gonna be uneventful. Uh three D pen is staying. Uh crappy bond tech is staying. These are optical end stops, guys. These are nothing special. Um This you guys didn't really seem excited about. Uh a crappy V6 clone seems solid. Uh this nozzle seems solid. And a 3D touch. Okay. I think I think we're good. Alright, I'm gonna hang on, I'm gonna switch this. Hang on. I don't know if you guys are gonna see any of my payment information, so um all right, let me see here. Yeah, I'm glad I switched that. Let me okay. see here. Okay, your payment is being processed. Um. Okay, apparently I have to verify this. Oh, yeah. That's Verified cool. by Visa? Come on. You haven't signed in. There wasn't much any personal information on there, so I'm not really worried about it. Wait, no. No, did it clear my... No! Wait, your bank... Hang on. Okay. Okay. They're all... Okay, hang on. All right. So I'm going to go through and pay for these items here. Um, And then, yeah, I will do another stream once they come on. So, or once we get them. Or most of the stuff. Uh, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up. I wanted to keep it about an hour. Um, I'm really excited about this crappy printer. So that might actually come in next week. Uh, you could use all the parts on there too. You could use the parts there on the go. printer. Oh, God. We'll put the 3D touch on there. We'll, put, we'll the, put the V6 with the awesome We'll put the... Oh, God. We're going to make it an awesome printer. <laughs> it's going to be so <laughs> bad. This is going to be great. <laughs> I cannot wait. It's gonna be so bad. We'll put the crappy V6 on there. Oh my we'll god. Put the silicone solid the bed mount. <laughs> Look, we got everything to make the ultimate garbage printer. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I didn't even put two and two together. Uh, we can take all the crappy parts and put in the crappy printer. I wait think minute, this is minute. great. Can we, can we find a board really quick and put that LCD in it too? I have a million different boards here. So we can do that too. I've got some crappy ramps boards. We could make it an insane crappy printer. Oh my God. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> That's good wait, wait, me. wait, wait. Did you guys even see this? <laughs> 2019 upgraded full the committee against terrorism 3D printer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's even better to be okay. that's the chief evangelist. That's oh great. my god. I feel another shirt coming on. <laughs> the committee <laughs> against terrorism 3D printer rep rap. I just have a picture oh my of god. the knockoff ain't it. That's oh great. god. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna sign off here. Uh, somebody's got a random question. If I link my Z screws, can you use two steppers or one? You can do either one. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever your heart desires. I've done both. Um, dual is a little bit better because you get more torque. But either way, like we on the Ender threes, we use single and they work fine. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna sign off. This was yeah, fun, and uh, hopefully you guys have a lot of stuff to look forward to. I'll let you know as we get everything in. <laughs> I will post pictures on, man, we've got everything. We got a bed leveling sensor. We've got a crappy filament sensor. A Titan extruder we got, or a Bontech. Yeah, we got Titan, Bontech, or Bulldog. We got three That's different right. extruders. We, we got a wrench for the nozzle. Oh, man, it's going to be great. Um, this is going to be a fantastic stream once we get everything. All right, I'm going to go pay for all this crap, and uh, I will see you guys on the next stream. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, yada, 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 YouTuber crap. Um, I really don't care. If you like watching us, just, you know what to do. You're, you guys aren't, you guys aren't dumb. If you, you want to keep seeing what we do here, you know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys later. This was fun. Take it easy.
Happy printing. Oh, God. Stop.